Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video and talk a little bit about uh, some problems you may be having with your stepper motors. Now, uh, in the past, I, I've had a couple of problems with this machine uh, where stepper motors would be really jerky or they would just change direction when they weren't supposed to. And it always turned out to be the same problem with me. And what it is, you want to check all of your wire connections from your stepper motors to your drivers. And in my case, uh, I, this is a homemade machine and I'm not actually done with it yet. Uh, I'm going to put some cable trays on here. When I wired this up, I just wired it all direct. Uh, didn't put any connections in any breakaway connections or anything in it. And I didn't use any grease uh, in my splices. And this machine actually sat out in outside, covered up with a tarp for about a year because uh, my house burned down. I didn't have anywhere to put it. So um, that wasn't really good on it. And all that moisture that was coming up under the tarp and getting on the, on the machine, it corroded my wires and I had to rewire the whole machine. But, you know, it's fixed now. Everything runs smooth. But I was having problems with this stepper motor here uh, on my X axis when I would go one direction and then I would hit the same key for it to keep going that direction but it actually go the other way. And the time before that, my stepper motor was very, very jerky, and it just didn't act right. And both times, it was due to uh, corroded wire or broken wire. Now, on your machine, you may want to find your drivers and check the connections. If one of these little set screws has came loose on your drivers and the wire is a little loose, then that can cause major problems with your stepper motor not performing the way it's supposed to. Now there's no guarantee that it's going to be a wiring issue if you're having these problems but I've had several machines in the past and I've had this same issue on pretty much every machine I've owned and even the one I built and every single time with me it was a wiring issue. Well, I hope this helps if you're having these types of issues with your machine and we'll see you in the next video.